Quebecois and Irish immigrants came here to cut the pine. Others worked the forge and furnace, dug iron ore in the mines. The mining and the lumber brought more roads to carry goods. The railroads and the steamers brought more people to the woods. Here's to you. Uncontrolled logging, railroad construction, mining, and widespread fires in upstate New York decimated primeval forests, threatening the water supply to cities and New York's dynamic canal system. This resulted in groundbreaking legislation that protected the devastated forest lands and watershed. In 1894, the Forever Wild Amendment to the New York State Constitution was voted on and approved by residents of the state. I've been trying to make a comparison of this view to others I know, but there's nothing else I've seen quite like it. It has the same kind of perfection I have sensed when looking at the Grand Teton. In addition to the current protection for national parks and monuments, we need strong legislation on a national scale that is similar to what Article 14 is to the New York State Forest Preserve. We need to reclaim for the people, through their representatives in Congress, control over the wilderness regions of America. A wilderness, in contrast with those areas where man and his own works dominate the landscape, is hereby recognized as an area where the earth and its community of life are untrammeled by man, where man himself is a visitor who does not remain. Like the voice of the loon that carries its tune, north, east, south, and west, over your land and my land, low land and high land, a song of the wilderness. 